Buenos días, muchas gracias por uh, esta invitación. Yo soy muy contenta, muy feliz de, de estar aquí. Eh, intentaré de eh, compartir con, uh, con vosotros una charla que eh, para mí es uh, una posibilidad de eh, poner uh, alguna reflexión sobre el, uh, el tema de la, del seminar de hoy en día. Eh, entonces, uh, intentaré hablar de, de, de este, este tema de qué paisaje queremos batir construir qué eh, paisaje eh, queremos eh, vivir. Eh, bueno, eh, y hablaré en, en, anglais, en inglés. Um, so, um, my approach of the theme of the seminar arises from the idea to share some thinking about the possible role of landscape architecture in the current dimension of the Anthropocene. And uh, I am usual uh, to deal uh, with the landscape in terms of project. So I would like to add uh, at the question, uh, what landscape we want, another one. So I want to uh, ask, uh, what can we do to get uh, widespread good landscape architecture? So I tried uh, to define a very short critical uh, um, pass in five points. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, promote awareness of uh, 120 years old yet continuously evolving profession. As uh, uh, you know, the American Society of Landscape Architects was founded in the 1899 to establish landscape architecture as a recognized profession in North America, develop studies in landscape architecture, and provide a voice of authority in the new profession. Um, this, uh, um, the field of work of those pioneers um, of discipline was uh, wide and various. So we can uh, prove, uh, we can find uh, on this, uh, operative uh, field of work, urban parks, parkway, and uh, park and open space system, and urban design, and all the experiment uh, about uh, the new surround of the, the city, um, plan about nature conservation, urban planning. So a wide range of activity, uh, professional activity, uh, and uh, continuously uh, the, the ability to cross the scale from the territorial scale uh, to the details. So um, I think that uh, uh, these uh, pioneers, they pivot the way for the modern approach to the landscape project. And uh, um, uh, it's uh, very um, interesting to read uh, some um, reflection uh, about, uh, wrote by Lori Olin, an authority voice in landscape architecture, that, um, and uh, Lo um, Olin in a letter uh, uh, written 100 years after the founding of the American Society of Landscape Architecture, say, it's hard to think of any field that has accomplished so much for society with so few people and with so little understanding of its scope or ambition. And um, this declaration bring, uh, bring us to reflect upon the fact that the very first problem to dedicated to landscape architecture faces very simply introducing its existence, what it can do and what the specific are of this uh, subject they nurture and with uh, which they work. Um, we have uh, many, many official definition available uh, about uh, landscape architecture. And uh, uh, we have uh, the, the definition uh, um, written by, by ECLAS. And uh, uh, we can uh, recognize in this definition the very important rule that uh, um, the landscape architecture can uh, have to um, combine uh, different uh, approach to different uh, scale uh, of uh, spatial transformation. And um, 
The um, second point uh, regards uh, the question insisting, um, insisting on the right meaning of the name of the discipline in order to clarify its objective. So, um, as um, um, is uh, uh, well known, uh, that, the little, uh, the, that the title of landscape architect was used for the first time in a public commission by Frederick Love Olmsted and Calvert Vaux in the uh, 18858. Uh, it was an English neologism, actually created a little over 10 years previously, but uh, that had been used by even earlier in its French version of architect paysagist um, by the architect of garden, uh, Jean-Marie Morel. It was in any case an expansion of the notion of, uh, uh, sorry, of landscape gardener. Um, the name seems uh, never to have fully satisfied Olmsted. In a letter to Calvert Vaux, dated 1 August uh, 1865, he wrote, landscape is not a good word, architecture is not, the combination is not, gardening is worse. This art is not gardening, nor is it architecture. Still regarding what name to choose uh, for the new profession, in another letter to his colleague Charles Elliot in uh, um, 1886, Olmsted noted, I prefer that we should call ourselves landscape architect rather than landscape gardener, because the former title better carries the professional ideas. Despite the doubt, the name remained, and uh, in the... Um, in 1900, the first academic course in landscape architecture was offered at Harvard University. But uh, as Olmsted had suspect a century and a half ago, calling the new discipline by this name was destined to create problems, not least because it gave the wrong idea, still widespread, that it was a specialized branch of architecture and not a specific autonomous field. Moreover, the term landscape is subject to the wide and slippery extension of meanings and cultural and scientific interpretation to the point that as a landscape architect, we need to specify our position every time so as not to remain victims of digital misunderstanding. For example, it's a still a widely held opinion that when we speak of landscape, we uh, reductively refers to mainly aesthetic visual issues, also because the term is commonly used in ordinary language as an equivalent of nice view um, and of panorama. Consequently, the landscape architect, it seems, in the misconception of many um, people, as a designer concentrated on exclusively interpreting the visual relationships between a work and its context, between a figure and its background. But uh, referring to the definition adopted by the European Landscape Convention helps clarification since it allows us, us to underline the concept of landscape as a physically and perceptually complex dynamics entity, as an evolving processes, the product of interrelationships inter between natural and anthropic factors, and uh, as uh, uh, the living space of population. And I would add uh, of all populations, human, vegetal, and animal. The uh, other point, three, point three, continue to support distinct, distinctly extraction in landscape architecture. In Italy, in the academic and professional worlds, many still think that an adequate culture of landscape design can be had without a specific course of study, a doc, that is expressly transdisciplinary. They are not aware of internationally and recognized documents such as IFLA UNESCO Charter for Landscape Architecture sanctioning this. And also, and there is the European Landscape Convention that expressly requests the training of landscape specialists. And there is hope, uh, despite everything, that uh, um, we can uh, um, verify that in various Italian universities there are now four courses of architecture degree in landscape architecture and various professional postgraduate courses. So, um, 
um, it's um, important to sublime that for a landscape architect, uh, the very special uh, competence uh, regard the possibility to uh, work with uh, living system in, uh, in, um, in the sense uh, um, that uh, uh, we, um, the, the landscape architect, um, have uh, the necessity to um, learn um, how uh, work with physical, ecological, social, and cultural processes. Um, for this, uh, we can uh, uh, say that uh, for landscape architects, time is a substance. And according with John Bursley, we can say that the time of landscape is complex. No place is a tabula rasa without history. Any intervention by any designer is part of a series of intervention of mark already inscribed or yet to be inscribed on the site. Every design is subject to the action of dynamic and unpredictable natural and cultural forces. The continual transformation produced by growth and decay, for example, or by changing pattern or of social use and habitation. So, in a, in a very loose sense, uh, the process of making a uh, good landscape architecture can follow over this axinian brief of a cartographer, an archaeologist, a historian, or that of a storyteller. For, th this, for this reason, we have the four point and uh, foster continuous and advantageous intersection between research, training, and the profession. And uh, we are apt to view landscape architecture as an expanded field, as a discipline bridging science, technology, and art, ecology, and aesthetic. Landscape architecture combines environmental design with biological and cultural ecology and social needs. So, the culture of designing landscape project um, um, need to be contaminated from teaching, in, from, um, teaching research and work in the field connection. And uh, it's possible to point out some keywords surfacing it uh, on current design culture on, whether, on whatever scale and in whatever category of intervention. Attention to the climate change and uh, risk management, environmental regeneration, and active resource conservation, production of individual and collective well-being, increased ecological connectivity, implementing biodiversity. But uh, the specific specificity of the landscape architect remains to design with nature. Uh, but in the face uh, of current environmental and social challenges, it's clear that the concept of nature needs to be updated. And uh, oops. today, at the McCarg Center in Philadelphia, opens a conference devoted to this question. How? Oh and uh, uh, how we can design uh, with nature now, um, um, what kind of tools we can use as a landscape architect to design with nature. We have many new scientific tools, new paradigm to guide an ecological approach, but also our aesthetical gates. So, to, to finish, we have uh, the um, point five. Communicate what can be done in landscape architecture. What we can do with landscape architecture? Many things. We can recover in drawscapes, and uh, we have many paradigmatic examples that we can uh, show this. So uh, you can see here the, um, the, in the picture, the fresh kill landfill in, uh, in uh, New York. And, uh, and then uh, in this picture, the, the fresh kill parks, the processes of uh, restoration of a big area 
neglected, uh, contaminated, conducted by James Corner field operation. And uh, we can manage in the risk uh, through an integrated system of park, greenways, and open spaces, the plan co-coordinated by Stoss Landscape Urbanists transform the Boston waterfront into a resilient linear device that protects against coastal flooding, one of the most vulnerable districts of the city. And uh, the idea is uh, to work with a porous city. We can work with uh, the infrastructure to, to integrate the infrastructure on the landscape. Linear infrastructure or other uh, kind of work, uh, for example, uh, a landfill. And uh, we can caring, we can uh, take care for heritage and uh, uh, another uh, concept traps as restoring ecosystem, shaping landscapes, and uh, this paradig paradigmatic project conducted by Marty Frank and uh, Tonar de Vol for the, the restoration of the Lugar de, la, de Tudela Cap de Cruz. I think it's a very uh, good uh, uh, example of, of this. Reinventing public spaces and urban natures and uh, rethinking the garden. The garden uh, as uh, uh, the space uh, uh, where we can uh, experiment uh, our uh, relation with uh, the, the nature. And, uh, and so, uh, to conclude, we, we can uh, say that the landscape architecture can produce remarkable transformation in our environment, in our vision of the future. So why not to take advantage of that? Thank you.